Okay, I hope this is working. And I hope people don't mind uh, that I'm holding it because uh, I don't get anything to fucking set it on in here. I uh, wish I could find something. Oh wait, maybe I can bring one of the chairs over here. Uh, I don't know if anybody's even here watching yet, but it says zero people. Mm, let's see. I don't know if this will work live or not. We will see. So here, let me set it in this chair right here. And then turn this chair around. Uh, probably should not face the light right there. That just makes it look bad. There we go. That should make it a little better. Uh, I don't know how I can read the chat. Let me see. Live chat. Okay, there it is. Now I can even see the chat. <clears throat> well, wonders never cease. I couldn't do this through StreamYard. Uh, StreamYard wouldn't uh, let me do it on my... Where the fuck this thing is? My iPad. Uh, William Keller says, Hey, Yankee. But I just wanted to do my first uh, live chat from SHOT Show this year, because I haven't done one, because I just got here yesterday. I've been doing a lot of behind-the-scenes chats for people who are patrons, uh, but uh, I haven't been doing much for actual YouTube, and probably won't do much for YouTube. If you want to see the behind-the-scenes ones, if you're a patron, go over on to Patreon on my channel. You'll get to see the behind-the-scenes videos. Like, just hanging out up in the... Uh, shot show room with Tony from uh, 2A4E and uh, stuff like that. And uh, The good stuff behind the scenes I haven't been able to video because, you know, I wasn't expecting them. And, like, I just had a conversation, quite a long conversation with uh, uh, Eric, Iraq veteran, uh, and Chode. And, yes, I did call him Chode. I refused to call him Chad because he said, hey, meet Chad. I was like, oh, you mean Chode? I said, or I will accept not Barry. Uh, <clears throat> how do I get that to stay up there? Because it just fades away really quickly. Oh, I actually got a super chat here. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Gypsy Bird Dog says, Stainless rhino, rhino is what wet dreams are made of. Yes, you're telling me. I came here not all that thrilled about anything, and then I saw that stainless rhino, and I about uh, shit myself in delight. Well, that, and because I've been eating nothing but gummy bears for the last 12 hours before that. But, uh, yeah, I was... Tickled pink. Uh, have you seen the area ballistic engineering 10 millimeter chip? Where did it go? Where did my, it faded away. Uh, <clears throat> uh, no, I haven't seen that. That's pretty interesting. But I've always said, people say, well, won't they make a 10 millimeter? I'm like, why would they? They have a, uh, Nine millimeter, they already have 357 Magnum, which is superior, so why would they bother with a 10 millimeter? A Yankee, our two abandoned pups, we, what, what, it faded, hold on, hold on, I gotta keep clicking on this to get it to come back up. We took in half Parvo, we spent all our saved money for the medicine and have to do IVs and stuff, any advice? Uh, <laughs> to a GoFundMe or something, believe me, I know how expensive vet fees are. Uh, maybe take them to, uh, the Demolition Ranch. Maybe he'll do it for free. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, Bryce Duquesne here says, uh, just asked a question that I was told today you're going to be asked this question. And I'm like, well, I don't fucking know anything about it, so why would anybody ask me? But uh, uh, Brian Duquesne says, vids of Terran Tactical have been leaked to social media by a former media employee. He's apologized publicly on Instagram. Graham must be bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, from what I heard, it's Me Too type stuff, but uh, here's the thing, I don't know who Terran Tactical is, so, uh, it was, didn't come as a shock to me, because I don't know them, uh, <clears throat> Yankee Marshall, 10 millimeters more powerful than 357 Magnum, no, it isn't, 357 Magnum is more powerful, uh, did you see the, uh, Lago Alien Pistol, I did, I did, uh, and uh, impressed. It's nice. I like it. I'll never own it because I'm not paying five grand for one. But uh, very cool gun. The people at the booth weren't all that friendly, though. I mean, they weren't friendly at all. <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, I guess you deal with assholes all day. You don't really get to be that friendly. But uh, Seven Wonder says, Hi, good folks. As tough as it was to leave the dead tiger photo, I decided to come here anyway. 
What's the dead tiger photo? I don't know what they're talking about there. Uh, <clears throat> what's the best thing you've seen? Well, obviously you aren't paying attention to my Instagram because by far the all stainless steel Kiapa Rhino 3-inch, the 30DSX, uh, with what is with the X denomination or, or denotation lately? It's like, that's it's really big. But uh, live chat, all messages are visual. Uh, where can one get that shirt you're wearing? Uh, you can buy a black shirt and just sew a patch onto it because that's what I did. I just sit and hand stitched a patch onto the shirt. That's like all my shirts. That's what I do. Is there stainless models in all barrel lengths? Just the three inch. Just the three inch because it's their prototype. Basically, it's their step one of making a 44 Magnum gun. It was Matt chat in the gun port section, not Matt's fault. Oh. Yankee, what are your thoughts on the current trend of, and it just faded away. Uh, <clears throat> what are your thoughts on the current trend of Boogaloo versus the reality that we could actually, that we could and should do it? It ain't happening, and it's just a bunch of loudmouths who don't know what they're talking about. Uh, did you check out the big bore lever guns at Bishop? No, that's my, my list of things to do tomorrow. Uh, I barely got out of there in time today. Did you check out the Henry 410? No, here's the thing. Henry ain't fucking here. So why is there shit in the uh, 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 brochures for SHOT Show and stuff if they ain't fucking here? So I'm like, that's annoying. Did you see the SIG P210 carry? I did not see the P210 carry. I'm going to have to look for that because I did not see that. I went to the SIG booth, but I didn't see it. Have you seen the new Ed Brown Evo? Yes, uh, my dealer has the Ed Brown Evos. I really like them. Uh, Coffee Black says, I did your sister in the back of my Chevy Tahoe. It was not good. Uh, well, then you didn't do my sister because one thing I've always, she, one thing she is good at is sex, from what I hear. Uh, being from West Virginia, you'd think I'd know, but I don't. Did you ask Colt what's up with the Python? I had a conversation with Colt about the Python, and of course they won't confirm anything, but it looks like it's exactly what I said. It looks like they're having metallurgy issues with the hand, and when people uh, are misusing the revolver in a way that should not damage the revolver, because all of us do it at some point or another, it's damaging either the hand or the transfer or the uh, transfer bar, because that's the only two things it could be. The re uh, excuse me, the rebound bar, not the transfer bar. Uh, that's the only two things I can sit down and mechanically figure it could be. And although they wouldn't deny, deny it, they wouldn't confirm it either. And they wouldn't they acted like nothing's wrong. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's the problem. <clears throat> Go by the Bond Arms booth. Yes, I did. I posted a little video on Instagram today uh, about the new little 9mm uh, Stinger that they got coming out. It's a little 9mm Derringer. And it is super fucking thin. Uh, you could easily slide it in the back pocket in a wallet holster. And it'd be just no bigger than a regular wallet. 10 millimeter has more energy foot pounds than 357 Magnum in any fair comparison. Not true at all. Not even close to true at all. Uh, you go from minimum to maximum on both rounds, and the 357 Magnum will beat the 10 millimeter. Only the most ignorant think the otherwise. Uh, is there anything good from Smith & Wesson at the show? Not really. Nothing I wanted to see. They don't really have any new revolvers, which would be what would interest me. Uh, the... the the, the EZ coming in 9 millimeters is about the only interesting thing they did this year. Any revolvers you are really looking forward to this year? Yeah, the all stainless steel Kiapa Rhino. You get the 92X yet? No, but I got to handle one today. They're pretty nice. Uh, have, have, hey, just bought a house. Where can I get a Bigfoot statue? Not as big as yours, but about four feet high. Why do you want a baby Bigfoot? But uh, I don't know. Uh, I bought mine secondhand from a guy who paid like three grand for it from the guy who cars him out towards the coast here. And he basically was moving and it was too heavy. So he said, anyone can come with 700 bucks and have it. So I went and paid 700 bucks for it and got it. You got to remember that thing is solid walnut. It weighs over half a ton. What is the most innovative product you have seen? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's, there's not a whole lot of innovation at SHOT Show these days. Uh, I did see a tri-fold uh, AR where the barrel and the stock both fold. Uh, that little uh, Valtor, you know, the little twist on barrel pistol. As far as innovation goes, I think there's some interesting things there. Plus it'd be a great little gun for like a lady to keep in her purse, like a little one-shot noisemaker uh, that could also do some damage. 
uh, did you see the new strike sky striker fire? No, I didn't. I walked right past the sky booth, but I was looking for something else. Did you see the Wilson? Uh, the, they said Wisdol, but I'm betting them in Wilson EDC X9S compact yet. I have not. No, I didn't even go to the Wilson combat booth. Where wait, did I go to the Wilson combat booth? Nope, I went to the Nighthawk booth. I went to the Ed Brown booth, uh, but I haven't been to the Wilson booth. Seems like the only chat to stay up here is Super Chats. I never did do my spiel that if you want to do a Super Chat to donate to the uh, uh, Wildlife Rescue in Australia, you can. I'll try to answer those. <clears throat> Will the stainless steel Kiapa have you going back to 357 Magnum for carry? Uh, I don't know, but I will say this. It's something I would consider carrying, but it is heavy. I mean, I told people before in the past, I was like, if they made one with a stainless frame, it's going to be fucking heavy, or any kind of steel frame, it's going to be heavy. And uh, it's very heavy. Your damn Bigfoot got across the bridge to Proctorville. <laughs> uh, does Springfield Armory still suck? Yes. Well, the, the company, not by it's the owner that sucks. Will you be doing a best worst of SHOT Show video? I'll be definitely doing a best of. I don't know if I've seen anything yet that uh, that makes me say, well, that's the stupidest thing I've seen. Because I haven't seen anything really stupid yet. But we'll see. Uh, oops. Did you see the CMG, CMMG Mutant 5728 rifle? No. I did see the Ruger 57 though. Do you catch Jaeger giving you that uncomfortable eye? No, I haven't seen Jaeger. I don't even know if he's still alive. Uh, I will say I did have a run-in with Rob Pincus. Uh, I'm, I was actually coming from the bathroom. People always fucking recognize me when I've just, just fucking destroyed a toilet and I'm coming out of a stinky stall, and that's when people usually recognize me. But I'm coming out of the bathroom, uh, walking down the hallway up by the media room, and... Uh, you say hi, Tonic. But uh, oh, I saw Tack Daddy. But I was uh, I, I was uh, coming out of the bathroom, and Rob Pincus is standing over with some guys in the corner, and you know I didn't really pay any attention to him because I'm blind as a bat if without my glasses on. I just don't wear glasses because it makes it easier to look at most people if you can't really see them. Uh, so I'm walking by, and I hear Yankee. And I'm like, well, who the fuck's yelling at me now? A lot of people walk past me and say my name, but it usually just means they're talking shit about me after they pass me. But this one was like literally, he was obviously trying to get my uh, 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 attention. And I'm like, okay, who's that? And I look over and it's Rob Pincus. And he waved me over and he talked about, hey, can we take a selfie? He said, you were just walking right past me like you didn't see me. And I said, well, it's not that I didn't see you, even though I didn't see him. I said, it's not that I didn't see you. It's that uh, I didn't want to be seen with you. Uh, and he's like, oh, well, we can be friends in real life, like real life friends. But it, I was like, no, no, we can't. And I was just like, dude, you believe in too many things I don't believe in. And I got enough friends. I don't need to uh, pretend like we're buddies. We're not buddies. Now, in his defense, he was being a bigger man about it. And, you know, like we can still be friends. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, we'll see someday. But I don't think so for now. Uh, and then he's like, well, then we can't hang out together and I can't take a selfie if you're not going to be my friend. I'm like, <laughs> fine with me. <laughs> so I didn't let left. And I said, oh, I want to ignore you. I'm blind as a bat. So someone said, we heard the story. How, unless, you, unless I told it to you today, uh, here today, I don't know how you would have heard it uh, because this is the first time I've ever told it on the internet. Uh, oh, ghost shadow and Emmer here. Yeah, no wonder. Uh... No lies. You'll do nude selfies later. No, oh, I don't do nude selfies anymore. Yankee Marshall, what coffee do you prefer? I don't really drink a lot of coffee. Uh, I think Green Mountain is what I do drink. I will say the coffee here at SHOT Show was so bad. It was so bitter. Uh, they used to have like uh, uh, milk chocolate stirs and these uh, cube sugar stirs, things you could put in it to give it a little bit of flavor and some sweetness. But it was so fucking bitter. I put cream in it, a little bit of cream, because I don't put a lot in it. Uh, I was like, ah, oh. so I had to put more cream in it, and I had already put four sugars in it, and I had to put four more sugars in it just so it was drinkable. It was so bad. It was so bad. Uh, CMC triggers. I haven't really paid attention to CMC triggers. 
is it, it's suitable that the Springfield booth is by the toilet. I've always thought they should put Keltec by the toilets, but they're out kind of towards the middle of the back. Hickok has gotten chubby. Oh, wait, that's Yankee Marshall. Oh, yeah, Hickok ain't gotten chubby. Uh, I was having someone talking to me earlier about him, and they were like, he looks like he's ill. And I was like, oh, he's fucking old. He's 100 years old. So people keep asking me to go fight Hickok. I'm like, dude, I would kill him. And then I would be the guy that killed the old man. I'd be the, the I'd be getting arrested for elder abuse even if he threw the first punch. I mean, he's frail looking. How's the Smith and Wesson boot? It was boring. Uh, let's see here. Sounds like coffee at the zips on Francis. Oh, it was just so bitter. I mean, just like oh, and, and maybe it'd been sitting in the pot for a while because I didn't get it till like nine a.m. But I was just like oh. Oh, and then I spit coffee on people. I mean, literally did a spit take of coffee on innocent people standing around me because, oh, I guess I can see the super chats. If I click up here, it tells me that I have a super chat. Yay. I already answered it, but it tells me up there that there is, there's been one. So that's good. Da, 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 I'm trying to pan back down here. <clears throat> uh... I forgot what I was talking about now. Uh, I accidentally shot myself in the balls with a 357 Magnum. Thanks, asshole. Well, it's not my fault. <clears throat> I'm with one. I'm with 100 the hell with the snakes like Rob. Yeah, yeah. I just, dude, I'm not going to be friends with you. I'm not going to be friendly with you when I disagree with you so strongly, and I also question your mot your uh, motivations. So. Like I told someone, oh, spit coffee, finish story. Oh, I was, I was standing with G Wabs and two other people he was speaking to, uh, people I recognize the name, but not the faces. And I'm drinking a cup of coffee and he says something about, uh, 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 what's his name? Oh, uh, I always want to call him Taj Mahal, but that's not right. But, uh, uh Maj, Maj, uh, uh, and, uh, I started to try to say something about, oh, I, I met him at the SHOT Show, but I choked a little bit on the coffee I was drinking because I started talking while I still had coffee in my mouth. And uh, all I did was, I did a spit take, like a <laughs> on the group. So, and they think it's just because I mentioned ta uh, Maj, but it wasn't because of Maj. Rob's little pinkest. He's not a big guy, but he's definitely not the smallest. He's just not a big guy. Uh, he's smaller than me. Yankee, are you sorry for being white? I had nothing to do with me being white. Uh, I wasn't asked. Because uh, if I had anything to do with what I am, it, I wouldn't. I would be something else. I'd be something maybe that had bigger penises or more athletic ability, <clears throat> or smarter. Maybe I'd be Asian or something, or at least born into a rich family. I didn't get any say in any of that stuff. Uh, did you have any run-ins with Eric from Iraq Veteran? Yeah, I spoke to him for probably 20 minutes before we left, him and Chode. Uh, well, Chode didn't speak much. Chode just kind of stood there. But uh, I talked to Eric for quite a while. Did you find the B&T 10 millimeter? No, that's first thing on my list for tomorrow, actually, is B&T. Uh, I actually finally uh, uh, saw the booth, but I was on my way somewhere else. And then by the time I got left from the other place that I went, they were turning the lights out on us. It was closing, so... I'm like, I want to get out the fuck out of here before I get locked in because I can never find my way out of there. I get in there into the big room and I get confused and <laughs> I get turned around and, you know, I'll be trying to get to the door to get out before they lock the doors and I'll be going the wrong direction. You doing your live chat tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be doing a live chat tomorrow evening too. And we'll do a live chat each night after SHOT Show. Uh, I'll try to be back here by six tomorrow so that I can do the show. Won't try to stay as late tomorrow. Are you going to the Fink, the Fink, the Fink, the Fink booth? Uh, do they have a booth this year? I don't know if they do. Oh, someone asked me if I saw the Matebas. They're not here. Uh, the company that's supposedly going to start importing them is not here. And, of course, there's no Mateba booth here. So I'm hoping it's just not someone getting my hopes up. But, you know, the fact that they're coming out, they're coming out with a stainless steel Chiapa Rhino, if they didn't even bring the Matebas back now, I'd still be at least partially happy. Uh <clears throat> Anything, see anything that knocked your socks off? Yeah, like I've said, that all stainless steel Chiapa Rhino, my favorite gun. The second, my second favorite gun I've seen so far is that really thin, uh, 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 
two shot Derringer from Bond Arms. I was really impressed with that. And he showed me some other stuff that I'm not allowed to talk about or show anybody that I think is even more impressive. Sphinx became a new company. I forget the name. Uh, the Yankee Marshall, that must have been a bid disappointment. What, what would have been a bid disappointment? I'm not, I'm not sure what the, what was the disappointment was. Uh, that would be cool to be locked in with no one else there. Just take your time. Well, they put everything away at night, though. They put stuff under the counters and lock them in these boxes. And There's some stuff left out with cables through it, but I, I wouldn't want to be in there at night. It's scary. It's spooky. Uh, so Bond finally has a working 10 millimeter Bond Arms bullpup that they teased last year. Uh, no, I didn't see any of that. Uh, something better, though. Uh, to me, better. Maybe not to you, but better to me. Uh, did you see? And it was definitely in the raw form. I mean, it was fully together and functional, but it was, you know, mill marks and hand file marks and stuff where they had gotten it together. Uh, but still, super cool. Night at the Cody Museum. Did you visit Cry's booth and ask about the 612 shotgun? Nope. All the stuff on that little paper I wrote down yesterday, the other day is, is in my backpack, and it's going to go with me tomorrow. And I'm going to do that stuff tomorrow. I wanted to get all the big stuff out of the way today. Have you found a new bear gun? Uh, I just never find guns that are good for bears because bears don't have fingers is the biggest problem. they got those claws. Did you see the Terminator AR-15? No, I might have, but it probably wouldn't have caught my attention. Is common practice for gun sale websites to restrict your choice to local FFLs? Uh, what? Is it common practice for gun sales websites to restrict your choice of local FFLs? Not generally, but sometimes they will. Sometimes they'll be like, we don't send to this person or we don't send to that person or we only deal with these FFLs. Because here's the thing, a lot of FFLs are worthless fucking assholes. Uh, and if I was a, a, a sale, a, a, someone who sold firearms, there's a lot of them I wouldn't fucking work with. <laughs> Believe me, every week I have to deal with, a, with one or two new FFLs because of people, uh, uh, me sending out the firearms from, uh, uh, from the project and it's just, the, the, the FFLs these people choose. Oh, my God. Yes, tactical yeet cannons for all. I haven't gone to the, the high point booth yet either. Uh, did you ever answer my question about old and new Python grips being compatible? That was one of the things they did confirm to me. I said, it looks to me like the old grips and the new grips are swappable. And he said, yes, the old grips and the new grips are swappable. So that was one thing they did confirm for me. IWI have a booth there? Yes. Uh, I miss your old intro. I'm a grown-ass man. Used to watch you a lot then. Yeah, that intro was kind of long. Then. A lot of people started bitching, so I made shorter intros. Uh, you know, people are bitches. Uh, eat cannons for all. I want to make sure I just making sure I didn't miss any super chats. Uh, <clears throat> any sign of the FN Burno polymer frame? I haven't seen the FN Burno at all. I would... Stay the fuck away from the high point booth. Ah, I like to go over and look. I like to go over and look. Uh, old and new intros are all cool. I want an FK PSD. I leave in gun control. I control with either my left or right hand. People will bitch about anything. Oh, yeah, people will bitch about everything. Did you saw Mellow? What? Saw Mellow. I don't understand what that means. Uh, Yankee, Rossi is taking a beating from the recall, can you please check up and see what they plan to do with the Rossi brand going forward? Uh, I can, I guess, but I've not ever been a big fan of Rossi. Uh, some of their older guns are good, but their newer guns, I'm just like, no thank you. Uh, best food you have eaten in Vegas this trip? Uh, well, I guess that'd be the Big Mac, plain Big Mac I had a little while ago. Well, that's what I ate after SHOT Show was uh, a Big Mac. Um, uh, and chicken nuggets. I got chicken nuggets, too. Oh, Mello, the white pup G-Webs has. I haven't seen Mello this trip. I know he's out. she's out in the van, but I haven't seen her. I saw G-Webs for probably a total of three minutes today. He and I will probably have dinner tomorrow, but I didn't see him much today. Uh, MSRP on the new Python. I think it's like $14.95 or something like that. $14.70 something. Uh... Big Mac, LOL, get a steak. I can get a steak at home, make my own steak, and not pay $200 for it. Uh, 
make it to the Caltech booth. Lolo, I like the silence Caltech sub 2000. I went past their booth today, but I didn't, I didn't stop. I didn't have time. I was busy trying to get back up to the, uh, oops, I got a chat up here. Hold on. Uh, your opinion on the Virginia dilemma right now. Well, what is the Virginia dilemma? I don't understand. Although I will have to say I was, I'm really, uh, uh, surprised by the amount of negativity by some people. And believe me, I'm not a I don't, I'm not a detractor of negativity. I think negativity is often quite good. But uh, I'm surprised how many people have negative idea, opinions about what happened at the, I'm trying to get this to where I'm centered, uh, in Virginia this week. I mean, I thought it was a success. Uh, but they're going to try to pass their legislation. They said that, you know, that the, the rally had no effect on them. And I'm like, that doesn't surprise me at all. It was, uh, politicians are very good at ignoring the people. So they don't care about that stuff. Uh, I thought it was very successful. But like I said, the only thing I think is going to deter them would be if the Supreme Court rules in favor of these two eight court uh, cases that are coming up. If they rule favorably to the Second Amendment, the people in Virginia might back off because they're like, we don't want to have this fight right now. Because it's better to wait and try to win it later than it is to lose it now when it comes to the Supreme Court. So uh, Ellis Island is very good food and cheap. I was there for SEMA and you could get a sirloin steak. Sirloin? Do I look like I live in a fucking trailer for $12 and it was damn good food? Yeah, I bet. Sirloin. Uh, new bill block criticism against government in Virginia. Uh, new bill block criticism. I, you got to remember people, I'm out of the loop here. I'm, a, I'm away. I don't get to see anything. I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, I don't know what's going on in uh, Virginia. Uh, I emailed you about two weeks ago a video of an internet booster that may help you at home. Did you see it, it or read it? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I don't know if it would actually boost my bandwidth. I guess it maybe if, it, if something works, it works. Although they told me again, I just signed up for have a second line installed for my son so he can have a, a dedicated uh, uh, hard line to his, uh, uh, what do you call that thing? Uh, this thing you want, the fi Echo Fire, the Fire Stick. Uh, and uh, they told me, well, we're going to be impro improving our services out there in the coming months. And I'm like, yeah, they've told me that before. We'll see. Uh, they have upped the estimate for the attendance numbers at the Virginia rally from 22,000 to 60,000. Well, I've seen places that are still saying but in the 20s, and I've seen places that said from day one in the 60s. And I'm like, I don't really care because... 20,000 is an extremely good turnout. So I'd be happy with 20,000. Uh, is the hotel room fine? I mean, it's all right. Uh, I mean, it's got the living area here with a TV. And, and then back there's the bedroom area and it's got a TV, but it ain't nothing fancy. It's just a basic hotel room. I'll spend here and y'all can ooh, make people dizzy. Make people dizzy. Make people dizzy. Ow! I just caught my foot on the table. And then I'm making myself dizzy. Making myself really dizzy. Uh, ooh, now I'm really just bending over. That wasn't a good idea. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. I recommend residents in Marriott. Air conditioned. 97 people who want tiny short barrels in their AR, but shit on bullpups are borderline. Okay, I missed that. It faded away. Uh, Vertigo's a bitch. Yes, it is. Dancing with the Yankee Marshall. I wasn't dancing. I was just spinning in my chair. Any quality training hookers this trip? No, I can't afford those. I'm, I've got kids in college and kids needing cars. And uh, I had to pay, you know, my insurance went from like $120 a month to $450 a month just because I added my son to my insurance. And I had to go buy him a car. So... You get a full kitchen? No, I don't have a kitchen. This is the flamingo. This isn't like a like a extended stay or anything. Uh, I'm actually surprised Glock only released a 22 long rifle for this year's shot show. I just looked at it when I was over. I was just like, yeah, this is uh, underwhelming at best. Go to Boulder Highway for cheap Vegas hookers. Don't ask me how I know. I have a feeling I'll pass on that. I have coupons for prostitutes if you want one. Nah, I'm I'm fine. Uh, MSRP sixteen ninety nine. In case you missed it, I don't know what they're what he's talking about. Ninety seven. Wait, from whom? 
who makes it? I don't know what you're all, you're all having a conversation I'm not involved in. I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, okay, I see what that is up there. That little number tells me how much I've had total in Super Chats. You don't get that on uh, 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 StreamYard. We've made $16. Well, that's before YouTube takes their cut. So that's probably 11 to $12 that'll go to the animal uh, rescue. Miso Trash says, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Yankee style. Never seen that movie. Uh, hell yeah, lady boys. Anything new from CZ? Well, the, the Dan Wesson, uh, DWX, that's basically a CZ pistol. Uh, all you can eat carrot cake at the buffets. Blech. I don't want to go to the buffets either. I should while I'm here. I mean, I like a good buffet, but, uh, how it goes, Yankee? It goes well. Strange movie. Uh, can you put 20 on black for me? I don't gamble. If you see Hitcock 45, try to play nice. I saw him, uh, and like I said, the people who say he looks sickly are right. He's just showing his age really bad. He looked like a little slumped over. He didn't look as tall or big as he used to. Uh, he's like Will Farrow in Anchorman. He'll read anything on screen. What are we talking about? Uh, I saw pictures of a CZ-97 chambered in 10 millimeter. Well, I'll have to look about that because I didn't see anything about that. Uh, I'd buy one of those. Uh, I did see Nighthawk has their version of the STI Staccato P now. Uh, super fucking cool with built-in uh, uh, comp. I mean, it's fucking awesome, but it's also like $4,500. So. so I ain't never going to own it. You getting a SIG military surplus M17? No, no. Nope, that ain't happening. Not interested in the polymer pistols. see here would you ever consider branching out into olympic firearms fardini hammerelli well i don't i don't know it depends on if they may, if they put out a gun uh did you and james yeager hang out i have not seen james yeager in years i don't know what he does will you meet tim from mac i saw tim from sort of a dis not he was coming going into the, the uh, uh media room while i was going out or something earlier but i didn't speak to him uh, I think he might be mad at me. I don't know why, but he might be. Because uh, he hasn't responded to anything I've said lately, so we'll see. But then he's also busy. So far, I think that SIG P210 carry was the sexiest pistol exhibited. I'm going to have to look at it tomorrow. I did not look at it. Uh, uh, are you sp stoked? to see the new Harley Quinn movie. Yeah, I actually am. I'm, I actually am anxious to see that. That's not till like February something, February 8th or 7th or something like that. What was the most exciting new CCW option you saw that you can talk about? Well, I can talk about, like once again, Kiapa Rhino, all stainless steel. It's heavy, but it can still be carried. But as far as just like small carry guns, uh, like I say, well, that double, that uh, Derringer that's really thin, that's, that would be a good option for carry. I wonder if Paul Harrell is at SHOT Show promoting shooting coats. I haven't seen him, but I, that, that doesn't mean one way or the other. Those M17S suck. I'm in the Army, and they are just not the same quality as what you can get on the civilian market. Well, that's the Army's fault, though. Uh, Shuo is the half-eaten hooker in your bed. Why do you think I would eat the hooker? You can't eat a hooker. I am diabetic. And everyone knows hookers are made mostly of corn syrup. Uh, I just got a text and I'm chatting. Uh, let's see here. I want that Rhino in 44 mag. Well, it's going to be coming sometime. Maybe next shot show. Does Beretta offer a subcompact Beretta 92F? 92 yet? Uh, no, their subcompacts are just different guns. I guess you could say the the... Beretta, uh, 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 Tomcat's kind of like a tiny, tiny Beretta 90D. What Kiapa Rhino do you recommend that is black for CCW and range? A two inch, three inch, four inch, whichever one you want. Uh, they all shoot so nice. Someone says, because you are a werewolf, although I don't know what they're saying is because I'm a werewolf. Will you do a hotel pop in this video? No, that might cause some problems if I fired a gun into the ground. And here's the thing, it would be kind of difficult because I don't have a gun with me. 
I did not even check a gun to come here. Uh, I figured I'd be fairly safe because I don't ever go anywhere other than SHOT Show and my room, so. Is the rhino still hard to cock back when the action is required? I've never had trouble cocking a rhino. I, I guess some people have weak thumbs, I don't know. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, JT Gunner Girl 85 says, oh, I love puppies for them. What car you get, son? What car you get, son? You mean like, what car did I buy recently? I recently bought a, uh, a Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. Do a live with G-Webs. I mean, we maybe could do one tomorrow night, I don't know. Weak thumbs, not playing enough video games. I don't play video games, and I got very strong thumbs. I got strong hands, period. I used to be a sculptor and a woodworker. You get strong hands. My right arm, my right hand is very strong. My forearm strength is great. Hell, a couple years ago, I'd probably crush, crush coal in the diamonds. Uh, yeah, scat pack, someone said it must be German. I'm like, yeah, I've never been a big fan of the, the term scat pack. I've never understood why people want that on their car. Oh, he's asking what car did you get your son? I let him choose. We went to the car lot, and I pointed out several cars that were options, and he went with the... One he liked, which was the Chrysler 200. It's a 2015 model Chrysler 200. It only had like 15,000 miles on it. Uh, and it ran nice, rode nice, and everything else, and came with a warranty because it's a certified car. So I was like, it came with a, like a, 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 a five year, 70,000 mile warranty or something like that. So I'm like, I'm happy with it. Not five years from 2015, five years from the date of purchase. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, or is it three years from the date of purchase or 70,000 miles trip? I don't know, but I knew it was covered for a warranty for a few years. Uh, yeah, the Army is going to need a new pistol soon. The lot we got all jammed bad and they are brand new. We had to cancel the range because they were all not wanting to fire. You must have a really bad armor. Your armor must be bad. Uh, is the new all stainless rhino something you'd get over? the DASA K6S. Uh, I would, because I love the Rhino and because of my arthritis, it's really hard for me to shoot the Kimber. Uh, I could shoot the Rhino. Yankee, does the fact that I carry a nine millimeter still make me gay? I need to know, yes, absolutely. Not, we're not saying any kind of negative judgment about it. It just, it's nice that you come out of the closet when you admit you carry nine millimeter. I agree about the trigger guard in Tomcat and Bobcat. I don't think I really said anything about him right now, but I've said stuff in the past. You must have a good memory. Uh, I have a K-bar on my nightstand. Bragging? What are you doing? Uh, <clears throat> are they not going to keep the M17? I have no knowledge that they're changing, so. Oh, yeah, I think I was wondering. <sighs> Uh, Yankee, you remind me of Robert California from The Office. Your sexual comparisons of firearms are almost the same as his references from the workplace. Yeah, I remember that character very, for a short period of time. Uh, what do you think about snowpack augmentation? I don't know what that means. That, that all I have to defend myself with? What? I have a flashlight on mine. Wife gets jealous. I doubt she's jealous. She's probably thankful. Uh, have you ever tried an extra X-Tar EP9? I got one. It's damn fun. Gun to shoot. I love it. I don't even know what it is. Uh, Yankee, do you get some sleep for tomorrow? You seem tired. I'm very tired. Uh, I got here last night about 8.30. Uh, and my schedule normally at home is I go to bed around 4 in the morning. And then I get up between 10 and 11. Uh, last night I went to bed about four in the morning and then I got up at seven 30 to get over to shot show. So, so I'm very freaking tired, but I guarantee you I still won't be asleep till like one or two o'clock because it's just the way I roll. I'll sit down and start watching TV and I'll be up till one. Uh, have you seen the video of Taryn Butler being creepy. Here's the thing. I don't know who Terran Tactical is. I'm going to have to look it up because I don't know who they are, but I got told that you're going to get asked a lot of questions about Terran Tactical because people know you speak your mind. 
And I'm like, well, they're going to they're gonna be disappointed because I don't know who the fuck he is. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Fiat, all of them are near the bottom. That's not even true. Uh, uh, go. I was looking at consumer. In fact, I was just looking at the consumer reports used car guide yesterday. Now the one my son got has horrible ratings, but the people who like it like it. it's got high customer. It's got high purchase satisfaction or buyer satisfaction, but it's got low consumer reports ratings. So, did you get your son all-wheel drive vehicle? Nope, just front-wheel drive because I don't really want him driving in the snow anyway. If he drives in the snow, I want him to take the truck. Why, what the fuck is everyone commenting trying to get Yankee an STD? They won't be happy till I get an STD. Buy a Toyota. You know, one of my choices when I was looking at cars, when I had narrowed it down to a sportier car, I, I uh, uh, narrowed it down to Camaro, Mustang GT, or Camaro SS, Mustang GT, or, or Scat Pack uh, uh, Challenger. But before that, my choices were, I was either going to get a two liter turbo Jeep, uh, JL, JLU, uh, or I was going to get a Toyota 4Runner because I've always liked Toyota 4Runners. Uh, NEA was going to send a tranny to your hotel room. That bitch is too cheap to do that. Uh, SS is the obvious choice. No, the SS was good. I liked the SS. Uh, I don't like the front end on the Camaros all that much anymore, but I could overlook it because I think the... Uh, the Camaro performed the best. You know, it had the best handling and everything. Uh, it didn't have the most power. The Challenger has the most power. Uh, but I liked the performance of it. But, uh, yeah, I love foreigners. I love foreigners, too. But I, I didn't like the fact I couldn't see shit out of it. And I felt like I was dragging my ass on the ground. So I got scooting my ass on the carpet the whole time I was driving it. Uh, and the interior was not very roomy. Uh, but I just couldn't see shit. The windows are very high and very narrow. I couldn't see a damn thing. I felt like I had to put my arms up like this to put my arm on the windowsill. Uh, so wasn't thrilled about it. Uh, and you can't see out the back at all. In fact, they've even now, the one I drove, the SS, the rear view mirror is not even a mirror. It's a monitor for a camera in the back that they use because they know you're not going to be able to see out the back of the car, which kind of fixes that issue. But uh, it just wasn't the one I ended up going with because I still have two kids at home, so I sometimes need to put people in the back. So I went the Challenger because it's bigger. Because the Ford, the reason I ruled out the Ford GT is because I've already had a Ford GT, you know, one of the new body styles when they first came out with them. So I, I wasn't interested. Uh, the Great Watubi says, what is your budget for hookers in Vegas this year? It's zero. I got no extra cash for hookers. Uh... Unless they'll work for, like, postage stamps or something. I think I have some extra postage stamps in my bag. Uh, I'm trying to get my chat to come back up. Did you see the Walther Q4 SF? No, I walked past the Walther booth tonight, but they'd already started putting things away, so I'm going to have to wait and see it tomorrow. Alien Pistol is cool. Yeah, it's very cool, but it's also very expensive. Hey, all, what the fuck is going to happen in Olympia tomorrow? We'll see. We will see. I'm, uh, I know uh, uh, Dan is up there, so we'll see what... I'm sure he'll be posting what happens. Uh, I'm Fat Man says, I got my pen and patch today. Very cool. Thanks, Yankee. Yes, I only mailed out a few, just so everyone knows. I only mailed out like a dozen. So like a dozen people should be getting them, and you're like the third person today that told me earlier when you told me. So uh, I, know they're, I know they made it. So I mailed out the rest. I had. I told my son today to mail out the rest of the people that are getting both a patch and a pen at the deputy level. And then when I get home, I will send out all the people that are just getting pens at the deputy level. And then uh, within the week, I will send out all the people getting uh, posse level stuff. I bought another Luger today. Just saying, Dale Rickety says. Uh, how many Lugers do you have? I only had one. It was gift. It was uh, willed to me. Uh, how do you get a patch? I forgot. Well, the patch is just people that have been a member because I have gotten really behind on sending out patches. And then, like three months ago, I decided I'm already way behind, and I'm going to do these pins. So I'm just going to wait till I uh, uh, send out the pins and send out the patches with them. And uh, it tends to be working, so I'm happy. Does the Altor pistol come in different colors? Uh, not that I know of, I think it's just black. Uh, well, that reminds me, there's another gun I want to go see. Uh, 
in the uh, uh, BNT booth. Uh, Henry, leave reaction 410. They're not here. Henry's not here. Uh, Vegas cold. Nah, it's nice out. I've walked around short sleeves and everything after dark tonight. I'm not the least bit chilly. But I like it chilly. I've got my hotel room set right now at 65, which is as low as it'll go. Just so I'll be comfortable. Because I do not like it warm. Uh, Second Amendment wasn't a suggestion. Thanks for the info. That's from DG Gunner Girl. Terran Tactical e equals the fat guy with a bunch of gun bon bunnies who trained Keanu, Keanu Reeves for John Wick. Turns out the Tran Terran pervs on and sexually harass his girls. Uh, it's not surprising. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Men are assholes. Uh... I think I want a single-action six-shooter, a cowboy gun. I like the old ones, but I want something that's new. What would you recommend? Well, the ones I've looked at today that I like the best is uh, Cimarron has a stainless steel uh, Doc Holliday. Uh, it's a bird's head grip Doc Holliday. I think it's called a Thunderer Doc Holliday model. That'd be the one I'd buy right now if I was going to buy another uh, single-action gun. Yes, I know. My watch is really happy with me about how much I walked and stood today. Uh, what about the revolver from Taurus? The 942M? They don't have it on display. They have the 942 on display, but not the 942M. Uh, did Kiapa have a timeline on the 44 Rhino? No, nothing even official yet. Uh, but, you know, kind of obvious from the stainless uh, framed uh, 357 Magnum, and they were like, yeah, it is kind of obvious. Uh, who, so who's sexier, John Wick or Tyler Durden. I don't know who Tyler Durden is. And by John Wick, I assume he's Keanu Reeves. Uh, both, but he's kind of an old man, so. Uh, I went hands-on with a guy who pulled a knife on me. Marky Mark Denver. Uh, is Big Gucci Wayne there? Uh, you know, I you, know, you never see Wayne LaPierre down here on the floor. Uh, I did go by the booth, and I was very surprised they still have one picture of him up there. And of course, it's the one where he's like, uh, you're like, I'm a hunter, and he's kind of dressed like a hunter. With his rock. And I'm like, dude, you ain't fucking ever hunt other than for a photo op in your entire goddamn fucking life. You useless piece of shit. But I did notice they didn't have their uh, rainbow coalition of shooters and stuff up on the board anymore. No... Uh, uh, Asian guy, no uh, uh, Colia Noir, no nobody on the pictures. Uh, the Great War Two B says Brad Pitt is that the other person they were talking about about Keanu Reeves and Brad Pitt? Of course, uh, Brad Pitt is better looking than Keanu Reeves. Brad Pitt is like what the best one of the best looking men ever on the face of the planet. And that's not subjective. Uh, objective. That it's subjective. That's objective. I think everyone has to. Know. Most most straight men would still have sex with uh, uh, Brad Pitt if he asked. I don't think that's true of Keanu Reeves. Uh, my county just declared itself Second Amendment sanctuary, so I think the VA rally was a success in many ways. They don't want that in all the states. Well, no, of course they don't want that in any of the states because it sets it up for a legal battle. They don't want to lose any court cases. Where can I get some updates on the Washington bill? My The best bet would be go to the Washington government site and just look at the bill histories and see where they're at. So the Brad Pitt pays Tyler Durden in Fight Club. Okay, uh, okay, I've never seen Fight Club. Uh, never seen Fight Club at all. Uh, let's see here, we've got like 11 minutes left here because I'm only doing an hour at night because I'm tired. Just so you know, I'm tired. Old and tired. Uh, that was TJ Gunner Girl, by the way, that donated to the uh, Dingo Rescue, Re Dingo Koala and, you know, Kangaroo Rescue Fund. Uh, that was her that did that, just so you know. Uh, let me hold on. Back. Uh, uh, what the hell? I didn't leave. I don't think. I'm still live, aren't I? Uh, any new options for 10 millimeter shot? 
Uh, not that I directly know of, but someone told me that the new, they have a new 97, like a CZ 97 in 10 millimeter, but I ain't seen it yet. Uh, the Yankee Marshall, yes, I'd fuck Brad Pitt. Uh, it's never enough ammo, but yeah, but he'd also do it with, Ke he'd also fuck Keanu Reeves. Uh, Chris says, what's on the agenda tomorrow? And if people are wondering why I don't have anybody in here, because I'm having to do this through YouTube, so I don't have a way to invite people in that I know of. Uh, did you go shake Hickok's hand, Yankee? No, because I don't like Hickok, and I ain't gonna be phony. I mean, I'll be civil if I'm trapped in a closet with him or something, but I ain't gonna go out of my way to talk to him. It's just like today when Pink has talked to me. I'm like, I'm not going to go out of my way to be civil to you. I mean, go to be polite to you or be friends off air. I'm just, I don't like the things you do or I don't like the what, the what I think your motivation is. And I don't like the things you say. I don't like your attitudes about a lot of things. And I'm not, I don't need any new friends at my age. So I'm just, I don't have any desire to play friendly. I mean, I'm, I was perfectly cordial to him. And I, like I said, Kudos to him for being a bigger guy, the bigger man, and trying to be nice, but I wasn't interested. Taryn isn't out of place with Hollywood, considering he's the Biden of guns, the Weinstein of guns. See, I still don't know who Taryn Tactical is. I have to look it up. Uh, Yankee has friends, some. I have friends here. I mean, I don't like have to walk around with a, a, a posse or anything, but I, I tend to... Everyone here that knows me knows I tend to run off and do my own thing and just try to blend into the woodwork. There's a video of Taryn pressuring one of his girls to show him her lady bits on camera. He's a sexual predator, and the video is very disturbing. Yeah, I don't like sexual predators. Uh, and I know sometimes it's just... They're, they're, some people take it too far as in accusing people of being sexual predators. Like asking someone out and they say no, that's not a sexual predator. Telling someone they look nice, that doesn't make you a sexual predator. Uh, tell them, show me your titties or I'll fire you. Yeah, then you're a sexual predator. Uh, but, you know, and even being persistent. Like if, if you ask someone out and they say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy. And then you go, okay, but I'm going to ask you again in a couple of weeks. Nothing wrong with that either. As long as you're respectful and you don't pressure them when you do ask them. Hell, half the people that it married that told stories like, I said no the first three times. And then, I, you know, that would never happen in today's society. Did you black Rambo yet? He's hard to miss. I did not know of a black Rambo. I saw Tony from 2 uh, A4E. Uh, Colt Bakey shitty revolvers, that makes them sexual predators. Well, I don't know if it's sexual. Uh, fight shooting downtown Seattle, one dead, six wounded. You know, I saw that headline, but I didn't uh, see what happened. There was also a shooting here yesterday. Apparently I missed it, but uh, it, there was a shooting right here across the street. Yeah, this was I'm your boss, so take off your pants on camera sort of crap. Yeah, that's that's stuff you should go to jail for as far as I'm concerned. But like I say, I don't know him or the circumstances or anything else, so I can't really make any uh, uh, full judgments because I don't even know who he is when I saw him. But yeah, if it's that kind of shit, then yeah, he needs to be uh, suffer the uh, consequences of his actions, and that's a pretty disgusting person. Uh, and, and like I say, uh, back when they were doing the Kavanaugh thing and everything, and they're talking about, well, that wasn't actually rape. He just got, uh, I'm like, you know how many people I have sexually pushed myself on who weren't, weren't interested? Uh, none ever. You know how many people I've kissed against their will in my life? None ever. You know, it's not hard to get through your life and not be a rapist. It's just not hard. It's not hard to get through your life and not be a sexual pervert. Well, I mean, at least not in public. So, I got, nothing, I got no problem with being a pervert uh, if you perv with other willing pervs, you know. So, I mean, I don't care what you do, to be honest. Uh, as long as I don't got no, I don't care if you watch videos of midgets shitting on each other. As long as it doesn't bother, affect me, I don't care. That, that's between you and the midgets that are getting shit on. And if they're willing to do it and film it, then I guess they're okay with it. Uh Oh, what gun should I choose if I don't want to carry nine millimeter or be gay anymore? Uh, something three fifty seven Magnum. You're going to, have to you're going to, have to overcompensate for a few months to even out uh, the estrogen in your system with some actual testosterone generated by a real caliber, and then once you've evened it out, you can go back down to a forty five ten millimeter something like that. Three fifty seven Sig. Uh, 
44 Special works too. Well, if you're going to call your 44 Special, just carry 44 Magnum. That's what I carry, 44 Magnum right now. But there be bears where I live. Although I am absolutely unconcerned about bears and have zero uh, uh, feeling that I would ever have to shoot a bear. I've been around bears my whole life. Never, ever had to shoot a black bear yet. Although, but people like to pretend, but, but black bears are actually more dangerous than brown bears because black bears kill more people every year than brown bears. I'm like, yeah, they do kill more people every year than brown bears, but there's like 10,000 times more black bears than there are brown bears. If there were, if it were equal numbers, you'd be seeing more brown bears chowing down on people than, than black. Trans not gay is a big distinction, LOL. Yeah, no, carrying nine millimeter doesn't make you trans, it makes you gay. And there's nothing wrong with being gay. It's just that the nine millimeter is not, uh, it's just like a, it's a, 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 a signal that you're gay. I saw a midget film where they were rubbing peanut butter all over each other and fornicating. It's okay if you saw it for like a brief second, but if you saw more than that of it, then you were a willing participant. Uh, we've all seen things we don't want to see. I mean, back in the day when you used to have to go to uh, an actual place and rent pornography, like you had to go to a video store and rent pornography. I remember once I was walking through to to see the new releases, uh, and I've rented pornography before. Uh, hell, I've been in pornography, not like commercial, but uh, no, not very commercial. And uh, I was going past a section, and it was like import porn, and I made the mistake of looking over and seeing a girl shitting on a guy's face, and that image has never left me, ever. It has never left me. Mm -mm. That still kind of grosses me out to this day. Like I say, okay for them, but I don't, don't want to know about it. And I don't want them doing it in public. And I'm sorry, uh, getting shit on is kind of gross, period. So if you're into something that's kind of gross, keep it behind enemy to I mean, I don't care if you give each other a kiss in public or something like that, but I don't even really want to see that. I, I Holding hands is about as far as I'm willing to say okay with in public. Like even putting hands in back pockets and stuff, I'm like, you know, get a fucking ring. Uh, wait a second, Yankee has a porn story he glossed over. Well, we were talking today. I, I, I would say back in the mid-80s, I would say two-thirds of the people I slept with, you know, in my heyday, uh, were in the porn industry. <laughs> so, uh, I've, I've done, I've had my experience of porno people. Uh, I'm Fat Man says, where did you get the 357 SIG barrel for your 96A1? Uh, do they have any more? I do think they still make them. Any idea where I can buy one? Is it a drop-in type of conversion, or is there more work that you have to do? It dropped in. Uh, it's fired, EFK Fire Dragon, I think it is. Uh, and it's a female run group and I think they still do have them business and I think they still have them. Uh, I got mine from a viewer, a viewer sent it to me that they had one and they, uh, I think they won a pistol project gun actually. And they had that barrel in their possession and they gave it to me as like a thank you. So that's where I got mine. Uh, William Adams sent me a link, but I can't click it and look at it right now or it'll cut me off from this video. I will uh, try to look at it later. I'm gonna to try to copy this, hold on. Can I copy this information? Yes, I can copy it. The oh, wait, I almost put you in a timeout, hold on. There we go. <clears throat> uh, let's see here, what, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, here we go. Uh, would you rather give Hillary Clinton oral sex or have her shit on you? Uh, is suicide an option? Because I really don't want to do either of those. Uh, Never Enough Amos says, Big titted trans midget lesbians with face dildos running a train on donkey in a scat film. Oh, no thanks. All I can say to that is thanks, but no thanks. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what was that link to, William Adams? Just so I know, so I don't. I don't want to get Rick rolled or something. With the Clintons, suicide is always an option. Yeah, I mean real suicide, not like involuntary suicide. Uh, Mataba revolvers. Yeah, they're not here. Neither the Matebas nor the uh, the company that says they're going to be importing them. And just out of, on a lark today, I looked up the company that's going to be importing them, and they sell like like lower end. Crap, I don't know why they're important Matebas now. They don't, they don't see any guns in their thing. But uh, 
We'll see. Uh, let's see here. Planters killed off Mr. Peanut. What? Uh, the bastards killed him after 104 years. Dead. Did they? Did they kill Mr. Peanut? I hope they did it in a dramatic fashion. I hope he went out, you know, like, had a heart attack while fucking three hookers and a donkey or something. I hope he got to go out in style. Uh, Beretta got new stuff. Like the 92 series and the 92X. I didn't see anything else new from Beretta. But I didn't really uh, look real well. Please look above for my question. Dr. Recoil. I don't see anything from Dr. Recoil. Yeah, I've gone back quite a way. I don't see anything from you, so... I don't know what it would have been. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Did you see the paging Mr. Clinton kill Epstein video? No, I have not seen that. Uh, he died when he busted his nut. The Clintons had Mr. Peanut killed. The Clintons may have killed Mr. Peanut. I actually don't believe the, Cl the Clintons had anything to do with Epstein's death because he had people way more powerful than the Clintons uh, that were worried about what he was going to say. So... And people think, oh, Trump was worried. I'm like, I don't know if Trump was worried because I've never known Trump to like underage girls. He likes to trade in, trade them in once they hit 45 for, for a 25-year-old. But I've never seen him, other than his own daughter, make any sexual advances towards young women. Uh, are you going to check out the left-hand M1A rifles by Beulah Defense? Why the fuck would I? I'm not wrong-handed. I am not wrong-handed. I'm not one of God's little mistakes. I don't agree with her on everything, but Tulsi is brave. I don't know if I agree with Tulsi on... Well, I agree with her on some things, I'm sure, but I doubt much. I don't agree with any of them on much. Left-handed M1A for left-handed boomer thud, uh, fuds. Well, you don't have to be a fud to like an M1A. I like M1As. I just, I'm not fucking uh, a genetic mistake. I'm right-handed. Yeah, all the evidence points to Trump definitely preferring grown, busty women, particularly models. He's not into prepubescent girls. Yeah, I don't think he's into that. I mean, you can say a lot of bad things about Trump that I'd probably be like, yeah, that's probably true. But him being into young girls, I just, I would not, he doesn't fit the profile of someone that likes that. So, uh, I don't see that as a, as a thing. You'd have a hard time convincing me that. Cars man, are you going to mod your Challenger, intake and exhaust, cam, head work, etc.? I doubt it because I like it the fucking way it is. I mean, I've thought about putting some long pipes on it and stuff like that, but I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I want to or not. I definitely don't want to pay somebody to do it, and I don't want to do it myself because I'm lazy. And I spent too many weekends as a kid, as a young adult, laying under cars, putting in transmissions and exhausts and everything else, and I'm just like, I don't want to do it anymore. Dan Wesson, specialist or discretion? A specialist. I like the specialist. Uh, I love busty women, Mr. America said. Uh, he is a tit man, obviously. Nothing wrong being a tit man. I love my 9mm. I'm on disability for my arms. I can handle 357, but it hurts for a bit, so I carry and shoot 9mm. Well, see, then you have an actual legitimate reason that, that some people would, if they saw you, like and they knew you had a disability, they'd be like, maybe he's not gay. Maybe it's just because he has a disability that you're shooting nine millimeter. Can you send me a free t-shirt? You mean like just a plain white t-shirt? I mean, I could, I guess. I've got plain white t-shirts probably don't wear. <clears throat> I like ass more than tits, but tits are a close second. I think Never Enough Ammo is a little drunk. Uh, he likes, but he likes to ask more than tits. I'm a leg person myself. I like nice calves. And uh, send him your hand me downs. Donated to the G O A link on this. Is it the same thing? Probably. Uh, I own a Kiapa Rhino 60 DS. It's my favorite. I love the Kiapa Rhinos. Uh, love them. Love them. Love. Them. Uh, to each their own LMAO, TJ Gunner Girl says. 
Not a fan of anything Turk. No, I'm not a fan of anything Turkish. Uh, which was awkward when I was in the Chiapa booth today and I had said I had to say I would love to have one of these triple shot Charles Daly's over here But I'm not buying anything made in Turkey And then I remembered the guy that's standing right over here that I was talking to earlier is from Turkey so <clears throat> I'm like I don't want to be rude, but I, I fucking hate the Turks uh, But Lord he's not in Turkey anymore. So maybe he hates them, too uh, Let's see here Heard about that link. I don't know. What, did what's his face ever tell me what that link was to? Because I must have missed it if he did. If anybody saw him tell me what the link was to, let me know. Uh, when I was enlisted, West Virginians were very good to me, and I'll not forget it. Very welcoming. West Virginians are very welcoming. Uh, I mean, we're a very uh, friendly state. We're very Southern in our attitudes about stuff like that. Unless, of course, you're gay or black. <laughs> it's not going to be that welcoming there. At least not. It definitely wasn't when I was younger. But uh, we don't. They don't have a lot of experience with minorities in West Virginia. We don't have a lot of them. Uh, what is the best uh, CCW coverage? I.e. USCCA. I'm still going to say USCCA is the best one. I just can't have them here. It was a link to someone giving a 40 minute speech against the Second Amendment. Wow, really? Why well, would that be that? Uh, Thanks from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I used to vacation there when I was a kid. Uh, we were poor, so we would just take it down a fold-out trailer, you know, the campers, the fold-out campers, and go down there and camp on the beach for a week. Always enjoyed it. Really fun. Although we were sleeping, uh, my mom, my grandmother, me, my sister, and my two brothers in one of those little fold-out campers. So, But it was still some of the most fun I've ever had. Oh, wow, we can remove Super Chats. That's new. I didn't know you could remove a Super Chat. That's why I ain't seen any Super Chats in a while. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're way over the hour. I just realized we're past the hour. We'll go a few more minutes here, and then we'll get out of here. Uh, my brother is gay and black. Can we come over to your house? I, I don't mind. Depends on what you're coming over for. Uh, if it's some sort of weird three-way, no. But if it's just like coming over as neighbors, yeah, I ain't got no problem with that. <coughs> Uh, what should I carry hiking the trails in West Florida? Well, your biggest threat in West Florida is going to be Floridians because they are fucking trashy and weird. So anything that would take out a Floridian, anything, you know, nine millimeter and up. Uh, night, you've got a big day tomorrow. I do have a big day tomorrow. Big day for me, because well, you got to remember, most of my days, I'm retired. So most of my days consider uh, consist of getting up whenever the fuck I feel like it, eating some breakfast probably around noon, uh, and then I go out and work four or five hours on a video, because I do make videos almost every day. And then I go back in and make dinner for my kids and stuff. Uh, and once a week I go to town, that's the big day for me every week, is when I actually get in my car and go out, oh, go out of the house or off the property. <clears throat> Uh, Yankee Marshall, what was the biggest disappointment at SHOT Show? Well, the biggest disappointment to me is that the people in Port the Matebas are not here, and Henry's not here. Those are my biggest uh, disappointments. I thought Henry used to come. Maybe they'd never come. I don't know. But Friend is spending 20 k to go to Miami for Super Bowl. Yeah, I don't watch the sports ball. I don't care about the sports ball at all. Uh, Yankee Marshall, I really enjoy trolling you. Please never change. Oh, I'm sure I'll change eventually. Eventually, I'll change into a rotten corpse. Uh, but not soon, I hope. Uh, but hopefully, I won't die. I almost die this time after shot show. I've been drinking a lot of water. Uh, have you seen all those Florida stories, man? Go 357. Yeah, you might, in case they're on, like, bath salts or something. When will you get your new camera? Uh... Well, I ordered it. They said it was shipped. It never arrived. I contacted them. They said they would look into it. Then they said, oh, I don't think it ever did ship because it went on back order status. So it, it, you never know when I'm going to get I'm not going to go to bed. So I was like, go to bed. It's only like, what time is it? It's 9.10. I'm not going to go to bed. I will go watch some TV. Do me a favor and check out the Heritage Rough Rider carbine. They are releasing 16-inch barrel and a stock, all for under $200. Looks cool. Well, I'll look for it tomorrow. I saw the Heritage, I think, down there. I just didn't stop. 
Have you been by the Beretta booth? Are they still promoting the APX? I did go by the Beretta booth, and they actually have a single stack uh, APX now, the carry, the APX carry, and the dealer cost, uh, like full dealer cost on it's only like $340 or something. So I'm like, if we can get a discount on those, that would be a good gun to give away for the uh, uh, TYMP. Any good PCC or carbines uh, to be on the out on the lookout for? Mm. Not that I can think of. No, I mean, but I wasn't really looking for uh, TV equals beat off. Nah, not anymore. Not my age. I don't have to do that very often. I don't have to do it ever. I'm married, and my sex drive is one-tenth of what it used to be. So, I mean, I can have sex every time I want to have sex, which is like once a week, sometimes twice a week if it's a special occasion. That's all I need at my age. Once you get to be my age, you'll understand. You'll be like, man, I can't believe how I used to be just so motivated by by sex because uh, like now when people say hey you want to go out to a club or you want to go out to this place or you want to go out to see strippers or something and and i'm like no because if you're not trying to get laid all that shit's just horrible <laughs> i don't want to do it so i'm not trying to get laid so i just don't want to do any of that shit uh hobo matt just said something he say tell heritage to make a pistol brace version please didn't Henry get bought by the NRA? I don't think so. Uh, thank you for all your great work. Do, do, do. All right, I am going to sign out of here, people. Thanks for everyone for joining me uh, for our little chat uh, after my first day at SHOT Show here. We'll do another chat tomorrow night, and then I'm going home Friday because i got Kathleen Madigan tickets for Friday night. So i got to get home for that. Uh, but, uh, thanks to everyone for coming. Thanks to everyone who did super chats. Thanks, especially the people who support me on Patreon, uh, and all that shit. Because like I say, every time it's the stuff that you all do that make it possible for me to do the things I do. Uh, and you know, we've been giving away six, seven guns a, a month. Uh, we've been doing that for a while now, although none of the big channels will talk about it, which is pissing me off even more that I'm here and I see the motherfuckers and I'm like, you go out of your way to get your picture with everybody, promote yourself as much as you fucking can and all this other stuff, and you won't fucking mention a product that has put over 150 guns now in people's hands. Uh, that's And then in the two years we've been doing it, two and a half years we've been doing it. So I'm like, fuck those motherfuckers. Uh, won't even open their mouths about it. Oh, I meant to, oh, I should have said something about, to Eric about it when I, I'll see him tomorrow. I will. Tomorrow, if I see him tomorrow, I'll call him on bullshit. Why don't you ever mention the TYM Triple P? I should smack you right here, right now. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, never know about the pull trigger on a scorpion. Blah, blah, blah. I guess I think they're all talking about what they're getting. Uh, if anyone's want to know what I want my next gun to be, it's one, I want it to be the stainless steel Kiapa Rhino. Uh, and I'm hoping uh, uh, Dan from Sporting Systems saw that when I put it on the internet today. But uh, like I say, thanks to everyone for coming. Thanks for everything you do. And uh, I told him that if he didn't, that if he pissed me off, I was going to tell people that he's much shorter and fatter in person. Uh, so he better not. Uh, but by, but uh, like I said, thanks for everyone for coming. I will see you all uh, next time, which will be tomorrow. Okay, how the fuck do I close this? Share, save highlights. Butte Magazine. What does that do? That does nothing. Uh, fucking close the goddamn thing. Uh, end. There we go. Oops. <laughs>